So we'll look into all the five steps in wavy curve method and we'll try and examine why we do what we do. Solve x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3 greater than 0. So right hand side, it's already 0. It's already factorized. So what I'll do is, I'll take up a number line. I'll mark the points 1, 2 and 3. Rightmost, it is plus. So plus, minus, plus and minus. So I'll need plus greater than 0. And there is not an equality sign. So I'll use open circles. So answer to this question is x belongs to 1 comma 2 union 3 to infinite. So we'll look into all the five steps in wavy curve method and we'll try and examine why we do what we do. So the first step is make right hand side 0. The reason we make right hand side 0 is it'll be easy for us to decide whether the expression is positive or whether the expression is negative. Now second step why do we factorize them? Now suppose if I take a positive number and a negative number, if I'll add them, then its sum, it can be plus or it can be minus depending on the numerical values of a and b. if I'll multiply a positive number and a negative number, answer will always be a negative number. The logic behind factorization is we can individually look at the sign of each expression and then finally we can multiply them or divide them to find out what will be the total sign of expression, which we cannot do in the case of addition or subtraction. Now the third step is find roots. Now why do we find roots? So what I'll do is I look at each of the three expressions. Now the first expression is x minus 1. Sign of this expression changes at 1. So when x is greater than 1, it is positive. And when x is less than 1, it is negative and at 1, obviously the value is 0. And in the same way, for x minus 2, the sign changes at 2. So when x is greater than 2, it is positive. And when x is less than 2, it is negative. And in the same way, I can write it for x minus 3, for which the sign changes at 3. So now because sign of the first expression changes at 1, now sign of the second expression changes at 2 and sign of the third expression changes at 3. So these are my critical points and that is the reason we try and find the roots of the expression. Now the fourth step is place roots on a number line in order. So what I'll do is I'll draw a number line. I'll place the three roots in order. I know that my expression contains three factors and for these three factors 1, 2 and 3 they are critical points. So that is the reason I have marked 1, 2 and 3 on a number line. Now when x is less than 1 in this region the first expression is negative, second expression is also negative and third expression is also negative. So this is minus into minus into minus which will be minus. Now between 1 and 2 the first expression it takes positive value, second expression it takes negative value, third expression it takes negative value, so it is plus, minus and minus, so it is plus. Now between 2 and 3, first expression is positive, second expression is also positive, third expression is negative, so plus into plus into minus is minus and when x is greater than 3, in that case all the three expressions they are positive, so rightmost then will be plus. So what you have done is if we multiply all the three factors then when x is less than 1 it will take a negative value between 1 and 2 it will be positive between 2 and 3 it will be negative and then again when it is greater than 3 this value will be positive. Now why do I start with sign of the rightmost? What I know is for any polynomial expression when x tends to infinite then sign of the expression depends on the sign of leading coefficient. So that is the only reason I start with the rightmost and I take the sign of the rightmost as the sign of leading coefficient. Now 
we'll go back to our question and then we'll have a look at what do we need we need that the product of these three expressions it should be greater than zero and greater than zero is obviously positive so the product of three expression is positive in this interval and it is positive in this interval so i cannot take the values of x which will make it zero so i cannot take one i cannot take two and i cannot take three so answer to my question will be x belongs to 1 comma 2 union 3 to infinite so that is the logic behind wavy curve method